Bienvenidos al Medical Spanish Podcast. Soy la doctora Molly Martin. Through this podcast, we provide interactive audio lessons for learning practical Spanish for healthcare and elsewhere. The level of this lesson is intermediate, and timestamps are provided in your show notes. The lessons offered at docmolly.com are solely for learning Spanish. They are not intended to teach medicine, provide medical advice, or take the place of a certified medical interpreter. Hola. In today's lesson, a boy presents to the emergency room with anaphylaxis. We will cover vital Spanish for this emergency. We will learn to ask about allergies, describe symptoms such as swelling, trouble breathing, and cough, name emergency treatments like epinephrine, nebulized medications, and IV fluids, and finally perform the airway and lung exam in Spanish. I wrote and recorded this clinical encounter with my incredible teacher, Elizabeth Cortes, de Español Sin Límite, while studying in San Pedro La Laguna, Guatemala. Elisa plays the doctor, I play the nurse Paige, and the boy's mother. After the dialogue, we will review the vocabulary and interpret the key phrases from English to Spanish. ¿Listos? Empecemos. Doctora, tenemos un caso de anafilaxia aquí. Ya voy. Hola, señora. ¿Su hijo tiene alguna alergia? No que yo sepa. ¿Estuvo expuesto a algo? Pues, hace más o menos media hora comió camarones y cuando salimos del restaurante se puso muy rojo. Se le hinchó la cara y empezó a toser y tener problemas para respirar. Ayúdenos, doctora. Paige, ¿ya le has dado epinefrina? Sí, justo ahora, doctora. Muy bien. Y su presión arterial es de 100 sobre 50, ¿verdad? Sí, doctora. Acabo de tomar esta presión. Y veo que ya le está aplicando una infusión rápida de suero. Así es. Y la terapeuta respiratoria le hizo una nebulización cuando apenas llegó. Muy bien. Abre la boca, por favor, y di, ah. Uh. Inhala. Y ahora exhala. Los pulmones se oyen bien. No escucho ninguna sibilancia. Ahora, repasemos el vocabulario antes de interpretar cada frase. Section 1. Allergy and Exposure History. Anaphylaxis. La anafilaxia. Allergy. La alergia. To be exposed. Estar expuesto. Estar expuesta. Interpreta. Doctor, we have a case of anaphylaxis here. Doctora, tenemos un caso de anafilaxia aquí. I'm on my way. Ya voy. So in Spanish, to say, I'm coming, or I'm on my way, we use the verb ir. I'm coming. Ya voy. And here, ya emphasizes that we have already started approaching the location. We are on our way. Ya voy. Interpreta. Does your son have any allergies? ¿Su hijo tiene alguna alergia? And here, if you do not know the adult's relationship with the child, instead of saying su hijo o su hija, you could use el niño o la niña. Referring to a boy, how would you ask, does the child have any allergies? ¿El niño tiene alguna alergia? Do you remember how the mother responded, not that I know of? No que yo sepa. 
So remember this useful phrase using the subjunctive of the verb saber to say, not that I know of. No que yo sepa. Was he exposed to anything? ¿Estuvo expuesto a algo? Note how we use the verb estar here. Interprétalo otra vez. Was he exposed to anything? ¿Estuvo expuesto a algo? Shrimp, half an hour ago. Shrimp. Los camarones. And how would you say seafood or shellfish? Los mariscos. Utilizando más o menos, interpreta. About half an hour ago, he ate shrimp. Hace más o menos media hora, comió camarón. Bien hecho. Espero que te haya sido de utilidad esta lección. In the member lesson, we will continue to review the vocabulary as we interpret the rest of the clinical encounter from English into Spanish. We will learn how to express symptoms of anaphylaxis such as swelling, cough, and shortness of breath, and name emergency treatments such as an IV fluid bolus, epinephrine, and nebulized medications. Finally, we will examine the boy's airway and lungs. And in the upcoming free lesson of the Medical Spanish Podcast, the doctor will explain the diagnosis and treatment of anaphylaxis, including how to use an EpiPen in Spanish. If you enjoy these lessons, here are three ways to support us. Number one, leave a five-star review in Apple Podcasts or Spotify. I read and appreciate every review, and this helps us reach more people. Gracias de todo corazón. Number two, Become a member through DocMolly.com and get access to our premium podcast feed and to over 400 interactive medical Spanish audio lessons. Soon, all our lessons will be organized into courses, making it easy to navigate through topics, track your progress, and review what you learn using our Quizlet sets. And finally, number three, you can subscribe through Apple Podcasts and get the last three months of audio lessons conveniently delivered through this feed. Please check out the link in your show notes to learn the difference between a subscription through Apple Podcasts and one through docmolly.com. Special thanks to Elizabeth Cortez de Español Sin Límite y hasta la próxima. This is a production of DocMolly.com, where we learn practical Spanish for healthcare and elsewhere.